Ryan Little. Japan. <laughs> What's going on you guys? I hope y'all are having another good day. Welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate y'all checking it out, all right? So if you guys just saw the little clip I just filmed just now a second ago, you guys know that we got new tail lights for the truck. Uh, yes, that's right. We're finally going to be retiring the old, uh, oh, I'm going to call it the OE tail light. So we got some sexy LED lights. Um, if I know you guys are going to immediately ask where'd you get them from. I'm going to have a link down below in the video, so make sure you check out the link. I did get these off of uh, Amazon. I think I paid like 150-ish bucks. Okay, these are really sharp looking lights. Um, Spider makes identical tail lights to these, and they want like 250 So I'm not doing that. You guys know how I roll when it comes to finding a good deal on stuff. I've never had an issue with uh, eBay lights, Amazon lights, LED lights. My front lights are uh, eBay lights. They work 100% perfect. The other ones right there in the, in the bubble wrap. Today, you guys... It's gonna get a little, it's gonna get a little crazy because we're gonna be experimenting. Um, I have never done this before, what I'm about to be doing, and I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I know I can do it because I've done all the stuff on my truck up to now, so I know this is not gonna be different from it. Okay, we're gonna be cutting open this tail light and custom painting them. All right, um, it's, it's time for a change. Now these tail lights look good, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, with the forge wheels coming in soon and the eight-inch lift, and we we're changing the theme of the truck. Okay. So I don't think the black theme, um, I'm going to kind of lay off of that for a while. Uh, I'm going to be going more for the chrome, chrome polish slash white look. I think that looks really clean along with the gold paint clashing with it. I know you guys were going crazy. Oh, hold on a second. I got a phone call. Okay, it's good. I know you guys were going crazy over the lift kit and you guys can't wait to get it done. We're currently in the works to be getting now. Don't bash me. I know I painted all my suspension parts before and it came out phenomenal on the truck, but this time we're going to switch it up. We're going to be powder coating this stuff. I found a powder coater at local town, Jacksonville. Um, I'm in the talks with him right now about trying to be able to get to where I can get some film on him powder coating, talking about it and stuff like that. Yes, I thought about powder coating myself, but here this is the thing. You need an oven and I need an oven big enough to fit my traction bars and my long arms that are currently getting built by Kevin over at Randnet Ironworks. So I can't, I can make an oven, but... I mean, the, the, the dude's going to be giving me a really good deal for powder coating. Uh, I am going to be going with prismatic powder. I'm not going to tell you guys the color yet. It's going to be gold, but it's a special gold. So I'm not going to tell you that yet, but you need to stick around so you'll be able to check it out. Uh, it's going to be sick. So what we're about to do, I'm about to flip this over. Get you guys, show you guys what we're about to do. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. And long story short, my buddy let me borrow his Dremel because I had mine broke. I'm going to pretty much be cutting around here okay and I'm gonna be cutting around to where I can extract this center piece while extracting the center piece what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to be able to pull out this center housing and I can get access to this stuff okay I have gold in the middle gold here and then it's gonna be white I think I look pretty slick um once again you guys are you know I'm using my infamous uh, VHT engine paint my metallic gold flake paint I also have some dupy color color match uh, white paint this is the same color code for our trucks. If you got a, a truck like mine, it's G, uh, G, what is it? P, Papa W7. That is the paint code for, I believe, for my paint code. Is either that or G, but it's the same thing. This is all matching. We also have over here some five minute epoxy permatech. So if you're going to be doing a headlight build you, or tail light build, you need to make sure you get clear epoxy because if you get white or black, it might make it look a little weird. So, you guys, I'm going to flip this over, break out the Dremel. And we're going to cut this bad boy open. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and I cut all the way around it uh, to cut it out. Now, on what side is it? Oh, man. Got to make sure I'm on the right side. So this side, actually, this side's good. So I should be good because what happens is, is when I was cutting, I took it. it I didn't film. The reason why I didn't film me cutting real quick, you guys, is because it took me about 20, 25 minutes just to cut around here. I was going that slow, and I had that at full speed, so that way it can bite into the plastic. Um, yeah, so I was able to cut around it, and, and it might be hard to see, but I can see the lens through the the gap. If you look in there, you can see my finger behind here, which tells me it, it's, it's not attached to the lens anymore, which is what I want. So now I'm just going to take my time with a flathead screwdriver, and I'm going to go ahead and just slowly pry around it until it can lift up if i have to trim a little more because some of the glue there was another thing that was cool was the glue they use to seal that lens on is white so what would happen is when i'm cutting when i start seeing white 
I know I'm cutting into the glue and in a minute I stopped seeing white I would take it off and I can see in the lens which tells me I was cutting good um, and then if you flip it you know you look around here and it's not the lens is not scratched anywhere um, so that's pretty dope so I'm gonna go ahead and get this off pry this off real quick and then we can expose it and you know go from there you guys well you saw <laughs> you saw me pry it out um, I just used a skinny little flat head and I took my time and I just slowly pr pried around it until uh, it came out and it looks perfect it looks beautiful the lens is not scratched up or damaged this is still intact so now what I, I went ahead and took those six screws off put them in my tray over there went ahead and popped off this panel now what we have here is circuit boards different LED uh, little light bulb circuit panels alright so I went ahead and took off all of the LED panel or the LED lights whatever you want to call them this is all hollow the only LED that stayed in was this little guy here but I don't feel like going through the hassle of taking it out but as you can see all the LED bulbs are out and it's really we can get tape and uh, get ready to paint uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and mask off all of this stuff and then we're gonna get it going alright you guys this is the moment uh, I made up my mind how I'm gonna do it and we're going gold everything is gonna be gold with the white uh, with the white C or the white LED bar going around it I think it's going to look real good. So I got everything all masked up. It's ready, man. It's just a shell now. So this has been going really good. Um, I'm very impressed. And I'm hoping I'm, I get the results that I'm looking for, which I'm pretty confident that I will. Uh, so let's get it. Ryan Little. <laughs> this right here is where it's at y'all this is what it's about man getting it done yes this looks real good so this is like two coats uh, you can see here so I went ahead and um, yeah I just took my time now when I was spraying I was spraying about two, probably about 20 inches away I was letting the paint mist on it like I wasn't even spraying it hard because if you get a run on this one is gonna look bad too it's gonna kind of suck wet sanding plastic you know what I'm saying it's just not it's not fun so you know if you're gonna do this take your time painting it um, there's no rush I'm actually gonna let this sit right here I'm, I got my little fan here I'm gonna turn that on uh, actually turn on right now I'm gonna let the fan blow do its thing just went ahead and dropped the clear coat on here uh, I'll show you guys in a second the clear coat I'm using, but I put one coat on. I kind of laid it on a little wet, but it's all good because it's a fast drying clear. I'll show you this thing, man, that clear coat though. You see that shine right there? Oh my goodness. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So what we did was I used, I just had this lying around in the um, garage, but you can use this uh, or not use this, but this is what I used. Uh, it, it works good it's a clear coat and I mean if anything it might be a little more durable than your typical clear coat um. Guys, so I went ahead and that right there looks good. I, I was not expecting it to come out like that. That really looks... Um, I can't stop looking at it. Uh, once again, you guys. And I, just like that, I went ahead and put all of the LEDs back in, buttoned everything up. This is the first light I did. The second one is down there drying. Um, but everything is looking good, man. This thing looks so good. Can you just imagine this on that? It's going to be nice, man. I can't wait. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to put that lens on here get it positioned and then we're going to mix up the glue and go from there.
I'm back, I went ahead and uh, I attached the lens to it. Now, I'm only the only reason why I am even mentioning this is because I want you guys to learn from my experience because this is my first time doing this. By no means am I a professional. I'm just trying to save for for 350 bucks or even more. Um, so we use the this uh, five minute Permatech epoxy works good. Problem is, is it's a little too runny. Um, I maybe you can add some hardener to it, more hardener than uh, agent to make it cure faster. It's a little too runny, and it takes five minutes is too long for curing. I recommend something that cures within a minute. Um, you know, pl plastic weld, something. Uh, reason being is because if you look here along the edge, now don't freak out yet. It's not ruined. It's, uh, trust me, it's, it's all good. You can see that the glue was starting to run down when it was when it was drying. Okay. Now it looks real bad at first, but I didn't tell you guys this yet. But I'm what what I'm end up doing, and it, it works out. Luckily, I'm I'm just glad it didn't run further in. I'm gonna be masking off this entire lens except for you see this black stripe out here. I didn't want that black on there anyway. So what I planned on doing was getting tape, and I'm gonna tape all the way around, or I'm gonna I'm gonna tape around, and I'm gonna tape all of the center, and we're gonna use the white perfect match dupe color, and we're gonna uh, put a white trim along it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure the tape the where I paint covers all of that, and you're not gonna see it. Um, so when I do the next one, I'm, I gotta go to the store get some more uh, stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna try to find something that cures a little faster and a little thicker. At that. It was a little too runny, and it, five minutes is too long because it can run, it can seep in and run down. Same thing on this side. I'm not, I'm not embarrassed of it or nothing. I mean, it's my first time ever doing something like this. So you live, you learn, and you just keep going. But you know, part of my DNA, being a marine, is we adapt and overcome, right? So we're gonna get this looking right. Um, but I, man, this looks really good. Like from a distance, this right here is fly. I'm so happy I did this, man. That oh man, the white, the white bar with the gold, and then I'm gonna have the white band going around it. That's gonna look so fly. Oh man, grind time. I can just lay down the final coat. It looks real good. Super smooth. I mean, there's a little orange peel in it, but it's from a rattle can. What can you expect? Well, tell me what you think. Man, this looks. Whoo! I'm not trying to set it down standing up yet because I want to, I don't want the paint to touch. But I mean, shoot, I can put it down here. You guys. What do we have going on here? Oh my goodness. This is phenomenal. I'm so impressed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fuck yes. So this is now a three day event that I've been doing uh, with the lights now. So now obviously it's not three full days like you guys know I work and then come home and all that stuff. So anyways, we got the first light in. It's wired up everything. Um, let me get a drum roll, please. This is what we're looking at. Check that out. I left the stock one in for a comparison so you can see. I think that looks pretty slick. Lights work and everything. Turn signal, reverse light. It, it has everything built into it, so I don't even have to, I didn't have to put, use no bulbs. Um, I put all of the stuff in. I put it all in man it freaking works great so when I first hooked it up I thought it was messed up because the center wasn't lit up but then I realized the center is the brake light and also the turn signal so it does two in one and then the center center piece right here is your reverse light this light I guess is your park light and then you got the C shape or not C but the oval LED man that thing looks good man. <laughs> I 
guys, that's it. Um, they came out good. It came out real good. Now, I'm extremely impressed with the way that these came out. Um, I Words cannot s explain how happy I am right now. Uh, as time goes on, shoot, let me get y'all on the truck. As time goes on, man, it's gonna it's gonna start coming together, man. I'm telling you guys, um, I dig it. I dig it a lot. Oh man, it's pretty sick. This one was the the hardest because this was the very very first one I did. By the time I got to that one, I kind of knew what was going on, except for that part where I cracked it and messed it up. That one has. I'm confident that one will not leak. Period. That has a nice seal on it. This one, I'm like 95% confident on this one. Um, just because I don't know. Like you know when you do something right on your truck and then you just still feel like it's like something's not right like I, I don't know it's weird but in all honesty if anybody else was watching me doing it they probably would say you did everything right man so we're all good here man uh I, and also on top of that too it would look a lot better if the truck was clean the truck's super filthy like i said earlier so it looks a little weird right now um it, it don't even look weird i need to stop saying that it looks fucking good i like it um it sticks out it's bold uh, no one has those lights so i'm digging it man i can see it now man once we get get the forge wheels the forge wheels swap out the tip color match color match uh color match rear bumper so we're gonna color match the rear bumper and i got a brand new uh valence for it or whatever it's called the trim panel i got a brand new black one for that it's gonna look super slick um once we get that man the camper shows you know it was fun while i had it although i do like it for storing stuff but it's time to get back to her her, her old roots definitely it's gonna look sick man oh and then not to mention the traction bars when we get the traction bars powder coating and welded up here i'm gonna recoat all the frame uh black and stuff man it's, it's gonna look good man it's gonna look good i can't wait so i hope you guys enjoy this man um it definitely definitely was a fun time uh first time for everything and you know i'm i was in the, before doing this i was in the same shoes as you guys you know i wanted some nice looking uh headlight tail lights i just didn't have 400 bucks to drop to get you know custom made painted uh tail light headlights and stuff like that so you know i started doing research and i was like well you know what it, it can't be that hard you know and after watching some videos on youtube i was kind of like you know i feel like i can do that like that i, I can i can handle that uh, biggest thing if you want to practice practice on your old tail light headlights before buying new ones so that way when you get new ones you're not like experimenting like i did um although it came out really good um but still yeah you know so definitely so all right you guys we're gonna roll out of this video now i'm just uh i can't stop looking at them right now i just keep staring at them um but if you like this video and stay up to the end please give a thumbs up make sure you comment down below so i can know how you feel about these tail lights yay nay whatever i don't care but i would love to hear what you guys have to say and until the next video you guys take it easy be safe and